What is the name of this line in a coronary artery? This coronary CT angiogram, CTA, shows the distal left main coronary artery with greater than 70% stenosis and circumferential atherosclerotic plaque. The answer is a napkin ring sign. This is a feature of high-risk coronary artery disease. It is a correlate of an unstable plaque, and there's high predictive value in predicting future cardiac events. It's different than the napkin ring sign of a bowel, aka apicor sign, which signifies cancer. When evaluating a coronary CTA, one should look for obstructive plaque, positive remodeling, low attenuating plaque, and the napkin ring sign. Again, it's a rupture prone plaque, comprising a necrotic core covered by a thin cap, aka the fibroatheroma. In short axis, there's luminal narrowing by eccentric low attenuation necrotic core, surrounded by thin ring-like hypertenuating rim, the vulnerable cap. In other words, there's presence of a ring of high attenuation around certain coronary artery plaques, and this attenuation of the ring presents higher than those of the adjacent plaque, but not greater than 130 Hansel units. Here are other examples. Image A shows a coronary CT angiogram. There's an atherosclerotic plaque with a napkin ring sign in the proximal left anterior descending artery, LAD. Invasive coronary angiography several months later shows total occlusion of this artery. Image C also shows a coronary CT angiogram in a different patient. There's atherosclerotic plaque with a napkin ring sign in the proximal right coronary artery, which is occluded one year later. You now know a lot about the napkin ring sign. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.